Welcome to Making a Difference, a show about people who are making the Gorge a great place to live. There are so many different nonprofit organizations here in the Columbia River Gorge that do so much good for so many people. Sometimes it's difficult to decide which ones to feature on this show. However, recently we found a nonprofit organization that is working on changing one life at a time. Kind of like finding a rock at the beach and tossing it into the water and watching the rings as they ever widen. This program is about those kind of rings and how they can make a difference in the lives of many people. Only this program is aptly called Wings. Let's find out who they serve. We're going to boil it down to a broth too. It looks like just another day for these young men who live together. There is lunch to be cooked and conversation to be exchanged. That's how it seems on the surface. But these guys are together for a reason. The simple reason is that if they weren't here, they'd have nowhere else to go. A lot of them are homeless, their families are fairly dysfunctional, they're unemployed and fairly unemployable and um, feeling pretty down and out and not feeling great about themselves. Allison Pate is the woman who saw their need after meeting a young man who had aged out of foster care and was homeless. His name is Darren and he claims he was couch surfing, living off of friends, never knowing where his next meal or shelter would come from. Everyone strives for meaning and uh, when you're surfing couches your meaning is to find food and shelter and, and you know a place to live and that just you know it, 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 can, it consumes you and that's that's all you have time for you don't have time to go get a job to get yourself cleaned up um, to look nice you don't have uh, a way to get money so you can buy a decent uh, pair of clothes to go for a job interview so no one wants to hire you Darren says his life was a vicious cycle until Allison intervened. She started Wings and found a house. The house has now become a home to three other young men, Jason, Logan, and Stephen, who were in crisis just like Darren. In Hood River and Wasco County, some 60 young men between the ages of 18 to 23 have been identified by community agencies as being at risk for long-term failure. 175 of them are on food stamps. 22 young people will age out of foster care this year, most with no real plan. We feel it's really important that they um, come voluntarily into the program, but that they're able to uh, immediately feel secure, that we um, you'll see the house later today and, and understand that we feel it's important that they feel cared for, that it's a clean and sober environment, that they're a part of a team, because a lot of times what they can't do for themselves, they can do to be a part of a program and a part of a team. And it's just a, a we create a camaraderie and a support system and, you know, get them clothing and food and, you know, they're moving in with basically nothing. So it's really a, a chance for them to jumpstart their whole life. Wings is more than just a jumpstart. It's a daily commitment on the part of these young men who are supervised 24-7 by a program director and live-in mentor, Sean Bergman giving them an opportunity to have just regular structure, getting up in the, the same time every day, uh, having a place to be, a purpose for getting up in the morning and um, you know, doing something meaningful with their time. I think those are the most important things. Structure and routine are crucial elements for these young men. At the Wings House, they also learn basic skills that will help them in the world. They've even cultivated their own garden and learned from a master gardener all about the basics. An AmeriCorps volunteer, Adam Dixon, brings in various other volunteers to help them with life skills, like changing oil in a car. He was surprised to learn with Darren and then the others that even the basics have to be taught. When he came in, you know, there was a lot of stuff that I took for granted that I knew how to do and that he, you know, was living independently didn't know how to do. Such as? Such as folding his laundry was one of the things that uh, I didn't think to uh, realize that he didn't know how to do. It is shocking to think that these young men have missed the basics, but they are only accepted in wings when they are ready to make a change in their lives. And change they have, everything from summiting Mount Adams to serving others in need. 
Friday is Fish Food Bank Day for the guys who pick up donations from local grocery stores, deliver it to the food bank to stock shelves and fill bags. Giving back to the community is another way these young men build self-esteem. It's this idea that it's really all about getting yours at the expense of other people and being comfortable that that's the greatest outcome that a person could achieve in our society is to be comfortable, to have all of the amenities and not have to struggle. And I believe that it's absolutely the opposite, that you know, physical struggle instills spiritual strength and that ultimately a person will be the most rock solid if their spirit, if their soul is strengthened through adversity. A different kind of adversity than couch surfing. 23-year-old Darren has now been in the program nine months, has finished his GED and completed a work training program through the Mid-Columbia Council of Governments which teaches everything from resume writing to identifying skills. Now he has his own place, will start community college classes, and has what he has never experienced before, confidence. Like I know I can go out and get a job if I really um, apply myself, because you know, I, I, I have all the skills, I have training, and I have people around me that, um, that care about me, and that'll lend a hand when I need it. When we come back, we'll learn about another component to this program, the WINGS Work Trade Training. And we'll talk to the WINGS founder and executive director, Allison Pate. Stay with us.